All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? So it's Devon Gorm back here again with another new video and I'm super hyped because I got a new camera. Yes, I did. Got a really new camera, super good. And I don't know, like nobody can tell me nothing. Like huh? you can see the shoulders, <laughs> you feel me? I'm trying to, all right. <laughs> anyway, so excuse the background, excuse like the lighting. I know it's not the best right now, but I'm trying. So let's get into it. So this is about my experience at MEP. MEP, MEP is the military processing entrance exam. Um, I'm going to the Navy. Hoorah. But so I know like a lot of people do these kind of videos, a lot of like military YouTubers do these kind of videos and people that just went to MEP. So, you know, I'm not really the type of person to jump on a bandwagon, but let's do it for right now. So MEP's going to be a two day long process and it's going to be a very long process. Very, very, very long. And so what it consists of is you taking either your full ASVAB or your PiCAD and PiCAD is almost like the same thing as your ASVAB, but just maybe slightly easier easier and then you'll just have to um the pie cat you'll take it at the recruiters and then if you do good on there you'll take the verification at the um, meps during you taking the um asva verification you can also be selected to take the full like three or four hour asvap so anyway so you'll take that the first day because the first day you get there you'll take that you go into a room you'll do set up your fingerprints because for the next two days you're going to be using your fingerprints in and out of the station so they know where you are what you have done all that you know it's the government so they got to be you know on their p's and q's about everybody coming in now what you're doing what process you did what steps you've done so so a little bit before that of course you very first step is you go to the recruiter to whatever branch you want, get all your information, and then once you get all your information, do your research to figure out which branch you want to go to. After you, after you do that, you do like a little sample ASVAP just to see if you even are smart enough to even take the ASVAP, you know? So I think for most branches, it's like either more than like a 35 or a 40. If you get anything higher than that, you, you're in it. You, you, you take that, then after you take that, you'll meet with your recruiter again. You guys will sign some paperwork, then they'll ask you, you know, if you're ready to, to go to MEPS or depending on your recruiter. Some recruiters like rush you like, okay, cool. Let's go to MEPS next week. Then other recruiters like my recruiter, they'll be like, you know, whenever you're ready, um, let me know that we'll set up, um, go to MEPS. So that's my recruiter did. Um, like I said, your <laughs> recruiters are different. So yours may, you know, but don't let them press you to do it because like it's a full long day process. Like they're going to check everywhere. They're going to, you know, you're going to be doing like a lot of like the full physical like evaluation evaluation and we'll get into that right now so all right so you talk to your recruiter you're going to get maps you take your full asvab and then after taking full asvab you're going to go to the hotel you either go to the hotel by the shuttle or maybe your recruiter can take you to the hotel so go to the hotel you take your orientation and then after you take your orientation then you'll be most likely paired up um with somebody in your room now these Hotels are really, really nice. Like I stayed at the Marriott right next to the airport, like LAX airport. And that was really, really nice. Like, you know, it was, it was big, like even like pilots were there. Like it was just fancy, nice food, big old pool. Like it was, it, it was a good time, but you can't really enjoy it. Cause you're really only there. You're literally only there for the night. So you can't really enjoy it. But anyway, I don't want to make this video too long. So, all right, you have to get a really early, like they woke us up. They gave us like a three 30 like wake up call because then you had to eat at like four o'clock and then you gotta finish eating by like i think 4 30 you gotta get on the bus and then you gotta be at meps you gotta listen to like how it's gonna go at like five and then like i think around seven is where like it, everything <laughs> sorry i think when everything all starts so that's gonna be that's gonna be a full day so you gotta go like they're gonna check your hearing check your vision check like um like a full physical you gotta go speak with a doctor they'll check like your heart and they'll She'll check like your neck, make sure everything's good. They'll check your eyes, like, but like whatever, like, um, medical conditions you guys have, like, I'm not gonna tell you guys recruiter or stuff beforehand, and cause like a lot of stuff is easier to get a waiver for because at MEPS, like, they're gonna check everything: your hearing, your height, your sound. Like, they're gonna check your full. Like, you, there's parts where you're gonna be just in your underwear, and then there's also parts where you're gonna be fully 100% naked. So you can't really hide anything, like scars or like blah blah. blah cause, like, the, they're gonna check everything. So like, they're gonna check like, every every everything. And then there's gonna be another part where like you're gonna do a whole bunch of stretches. You know, you're gonna do this. You know, the infamous duck walk. You're gonna do 
hey, wrist stretches. You're gonna do like different like crouching sessions. You're gonna be like on your knees for one point. You're gonna be like doing a little fast while like you're gonna be doing way different kind of stretches and stuff so they can see your movement. Like I said, if you have anything wrong with you, you might as well uh, try to get a um, a waiver for that because depending on what stretch you're going for, like they can get you can get a waiver for almost anything nowadays unless it's some super super like dire unless you have like cancer or something like that. You can't really get a waiver, but most things you can get a waiver for and then you can be good. You know, nothing to hide. Um, so after that, after you did all these tests, all the hearing, the vision, the you know meeting with the doctor, the going over your history, the going over the forms you fill out. I have to go through all that. Then you get to pick a job. I'm um, gonna get to sit down, pick a job. They'll tell you, you know, from the score that you got. Cause the job that you get, it depends on score on um, the ASVAB, um, like the line score. Cause there are different sections, you know, what category. If you score really good in like, I don't know, mechanics or some shit, you know, you'll get a good job in that. And it also goes on your vision height. So like aviation, even if you score the aviation score, if you, if you can't see really well, you won't qualify for aviation you know different things like that so you go you pick a job but you're not over after you pick your job because after you pick a job you have to go to something else to get like some paperwork signed you gotta go speak to another person you gotta go do a full fingerprint you gotta go do a background thing like you gotta like it's gonna be like the longest like day you're gonna spend a full like eight to ten hours there like it's gonna be a full day there so after you go get the, another brief fingerprint you talk to another person you gotta talk like at least like 15 20 people throughout this whole day you gotta like check in your fingerprint like so many times so you'll check in those people pick a job um you get your contract already and then you'll look at your contract sign that thing and then after you sign that thing you will get ready to go swear in but you gotta wait to swear in because it's every hour that they swear people in and then once you finally get to get you get to go swear in you have to wait another hour wait they explain to you like what's gonna happen and how it's gonna go so now you have to wait <laughs> and then once you finally um like explain once they finally explain to you what's happening, what's going on, then you actually go into the room, your family could come in, they could take pictures of you, if you swear in, you know, you gotta raise your right arm, yada yada, you swear to protect the, you know, the United States from enemies, foreign and domestic, you know, all that kind of stuff. I think that, I think you gotta do like, I think you gotta check in one more time at like the desk, you gotta do like one or two more things after you swear in, and then you're home free, you gotta go to your recruiter, tell them you're home free, yeah, you got your, you got your job, um, but yeah, also during this, like, your recruiter will, they can um, provide transportation for you if you don't like have if you don't have a car or if you like you know too far or whatever the recruiters can provide transportation for you I know I don't want that to be a stress for you if you guys if the stations are like really far from where you live don't worry the recruiter they'll take they'll take care of you they'll, they'll, they'll set you up um but so that was the um MEPS experience but as far as my personal experience it was really, really cool because um the doctors like they were kind of low on staff and like the staff that they just want to really get out of there um so they were just you know it, it wasn't like as you know like they're kind of you know rushing a little bit in certain parts um but yeah i didn't i didn't run into any people that was really rude the like only went to like maybe one or two people that were kind of pretty rude but everybody else is pretty great and like you know they're trying to make jokes of it you know and it's kind of i don't fault them for being rude because they they have to like process like everybody who wants to go to maps they got like you know thousands and thousands of people they got to go through they have to you know get them a physical process the paperwork so you know if they, if they give you a little attitude don't take it personal just because they do this every single day and even though you may be tired because you've been there all day they have to be there all day and like deal with people and like try to figure out if somebody's lying or like if they're qualified you know just so you know so give them a break you know you're only there for one day like i mean for like two days so like just do your two days get your job get ready for your career that's all I can say. My experience was cool. Like I had a cool like roommate at the hotel. Um, he, he was in the um, what's that called? He was supposed to be in the Marines. So cool, cool kid. Um, yeah, I experienced a lot. Food in the hotel was good. I think it was some pasta, some chicken pasta, some salad and stuff. And get, you get served breakfast. And yeah, it was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, it said um, my job. I don't start until like March. I'm in this like um, pack semen program. Um, yeah. So cause I kind of scored lower, so I didn't have like the choice of like jobs and like the pack semen program is like your second chance because like you get to um see what kind of jobs out there and then you could like strike your rate and then 
then whichever job picks you up, um, you can just go right into that job. Or um, or if the job is like requires a higher um, ASVAB score, then you can go and then retake your ASVAB. But that's like after a year. So I'm gonna spend a year like, you know, doing like the intern work, you know, going here and scraping all like doing all the heavy stuff, heavy lifting and like scraping all the paint and or chipping all the paint and doing all, all that kind of crap. But it's only for a year, hopefully, then I'll strike my rate, get to something either like a personnel specialist or like a logistics specialist or like public affairs, you know, that's the type of field I wanna go into. Maybe even yeoman. But anyways guys, let me know you guys admit uh let me know you guys experience. Like I said, I'm going to the Navy. Let me know what um how you guys experience was, what branch of service you guys either would like to go to or in the process of going to. Any questions? See you guys later. I know this video is long. I apologize. You know, these videos are long. <laughs> what can I say? Peace.